Like the city-state of London and the Vatican, a third city-state was officially created in 1982. That city-state is called the District of Columbia and is located on 10 square miles of land in the heart of Washington. The District of Columbia flies its own flag and has its own independent constitution. Although geographically separate, the city-states of London, the Vatican, and the District of Columbia are one interlocking empire called Empire of the City. The flag of Washington's District of Columbia has three red stars, one for each city-state in the three-city empire. This corporate empire of three city-states controls the world economically through London's inner city, militarily through the District of Columbia, and spiritually through the Vatican. The Constitution for the District of Columbia operates under a tyrannical Roman law known as Lex Fori, which bears no resemblance to the U.S. Constitution. When Congress passed the Act of 1871, it created a separate corporate government for the District of Columbia. This treasonous act allowed the District of Columbia to operate as a corporation outside the original Constitution of the United States and outside of the best interests of American citizens. Most U.S. citizens believe that the United States is a country and that the President is the most powerful man on Earth. The United States is not a country. It is a corporation, and the President is President of the Corporation of the United States. He and his elected officials work for the corporation, not for the American people. Since the United States is a corporation, who owns the Corporation of the United States? Like Canada and Australia, whose leaders are Prime Ministers of the Queen, and whose land is called Crown Land, the United States is just another Crown Colony. Crown Colonies are controlled by the empire of three city-states. At the center of each city-state is a towering, phallic-shaped stone monument called an obelisk that points skyward. In D.C. city-state, the obelisk, known as the Washington Monument, was dedicated to Freemason George Washington by the Freemason Grand Lodge of the District of Columbia.